everybody. Today is Film Friday, and today we're going to be talking about the pinhole lens and what you can do with it, the science, the challenge I made. So let's just jump right into it. Brace yourselves. What's up, guys? I'm CK Hogan. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, and I do everything photography related. Today we're going to be talking about the pinhole lens, and actually, let me get that. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. So, this little guy, it's kind of hard to see. I made this out of a broken lens, um, a broken Pentax lens. I took off the bottom of it, and then I put some PVC pipe, a little bit of tin, another little piece of tin with a pinhole through it, and some tape to hold it together, and then boom, got a pinhole lens. Simple as that. Now it's really simple, it just projects an image without using a lens or a mirror. Now how it's able to do that, it's really quite simple. Basically, light goes into a straight line, it doesn't bend or do weird things in the air. Now the sun will shoot all its magical light beams onto the tree, and then the tree, whatever light it doesn't need, it will reflect, and then will reflect right into the lens. Now the lens, because it's a pinhole, only a little bit of light is going through, so it's going through this pinhole, right to the sensor. Now it fits at the top of the tree, then it's gonna bounce all the way to the bottom of the sensor, or the film, whatever you're using, because it's going a straight path to the lens. Same with the bottom, any light that goes to the bottom of the tree will get reflected, and then will bounce through the lens, and then we'll project an image to the top. Now, everything in between is all the same. So some of the pros. Well, first off, you get an image, that's something. Second, if you're on a really tight budget and you can't afford a lens, only a camera or a film body, you can still get an image by getting some tin or paper, putting it in front of the camera, poking a little pin through it, now you got a pinhole lens, and then you can project an image. Now, some of the cons. It's not really going to be in focus, and it's not at all going to be sharp. It's going to be a really slow speed so you might need a tripod. Because it's slow and small, and you're getting a lot of it in focus, that means you're not gonna get a bokeh. And I know, bokeh, people look for bokeh. People love it, but you're not gonna get it with this. But we're gonna jump back to the good parts of it. Now, what are some good parts to it? Well, first off, because it's limiting, it opens up creativity. Now, let me explain that a little bit. Because you're limited to what you have and what you can't do, then that means you have to be more creative to figure out a solution to make this work. And when you have to make this work with nothing else, you're brainstorming and you're becoming more creative and you have to make something that doesn't work, work. And I think that can be, well, first off, really frustrating, but it can also be really freeing once you finally find something that works, and you make it work and you make it look somewhat good. Now, if you've done my pinhole challenge from the previous video, then comment down below with your tag to show me what you've done, or you can use the hashtag, hashtag pinhole challenge, so then I can see it on Instagram, because I'll be taking a look at all of them, and I'll be seeing what you guys are doing, and I'll also be making another video for next week, and seeing how creative you guys are, and seeing what you guys have done with it. Now, don't forget to subscribe, and if you haven't already, I'll put the video for the pinhole challenge up here, above my head somewhere, I'm not really sure where. And other than that, have a good one.